this video we're going to talk about integrated libraries and how this can be a useful function especially if you move from machine to machine um, it, once you have your project completed or even if it's not completed but you have parts on your PCB and you're moving forward you have an option to come up to your design function up here on the top and select make integrated library so I'm going to click on that and here it goes it's processing generating alright now if I go back to my projects folder you'll see I have a library folder now let's close this and in the libraries I have a compiled library this compiled library has every part that I used in my schematic and every footprint that I used on the PCB put into one library now the advantage of this is if I take this project and move to another computer and open Altium on another computer I don't have to worry about going over and trying to open up these other libraries and make sure I have them available on that computer everything I've used is now moved with me if I double click this op amp library you'll see it opens up down here op amp library package I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to save all because that red box told me it was not saved and you'll see it goes down one layer deeper on my folder it opens up uh, op amp one and saves this library and now I have a PCB library and a schematic library now here's what's handy if I open up the schematic library you'll see I have a new tab opened up over here that says schematic library I can select the op amp there's the op amp I used and there's the footprint I used maybe I want to change something inside now in a library I can move all these primitives around they are not locked I can highlight this guy let's see and drag him around and put it up there I can highlight this guy move him over here now it's kinda of crazy to do that it's I don't need it but let's just say I did that what I can then do is go to my schematic library again right click and say update the schematic sheets with what I just changed here it says one was updated let's go back to our schematic you see the change here even though it's useless I'm just showing you that there's a way to do this I can open the library and change my primitives and then save the library and go back and update my schematic with it now that'll work also with the PCB if I open up the PCB library I now have a tab over here that says PCB library here's all the parts I used in that project right the capacitors that little resistor I used let's say I wanted to get rid of this yellow right here right I can go to my top overlay select this and say delete I'll leave one and not the other save PCB library right click I can tell it update PCB and execute that now if I go to my PCB library or my PCB there's my little surface mount part and I got rid of that one line so that's another good option to use as you're customizing and, and uh, uh, adjusting your parts you also have an option to make a part so to make a part I'm gonna come up here to tools new component I'm gonna call this a test and say OK and there's a blank component named test now first thing you want to do is place the rectangle around it so I'm gonna tell it place rectangle I don't really care how big the rectangle is because I can always change the rectangle size watch this I can make it bigger I can move it around I just want to place it first because these are going down in, in layers and I want the pins to be on top then I can place a pen 
Now look at this one. It's, it automatically comes up with the last number I used. So just like all the other functions we've done, I hit tab to change the properties before I place it. I tell it the pin number I want to be 1, the name I want to be VCC. I can come over here, place that part. Now look at automatically numbered to pin 2. So I hit tab. I'm already highlighted where it says VCC. So now I say GND for ground. I can place it. Automatically goes to pin 3. I hit tab. Or maybe I want to call this one output. I'll place it. I'm going to right click to quit placing. I can put my box over there if I needed my box bigger or smaller. And you'll notice that up here are the net connections. Be careful of that. If I had placed this pen like this and I tried to wire here, it wouldn't work. The net connections over here. So be careful with that. Make sure you place it correctly so it's easy to wire. I can also add a footprint to it. If I come here to footprint, say add footprint, I can open up a library. I can tell it, uh, let's see, I want to look in the uh, miscellaneous devices, miscellaneous connectors. That's already opened. So I should be able to see it in here. Or here's the ECE library. I can pick a footprint. Any footprint I want, whatever happens to fit. Not that one. There's a three pin. Maybe I just want to use that footprint. Why not? I tell it OK. Thank you. I can save it. This device is now saved. I now have this guy in my schematic library. Andy has his associated footprint. Uh, we can also come up here with our projects. Look at our PCB library and I can also tell it tools, new blank footprint, place. I can I can start placing things just like I did on the schematic. Let's see, I'm going to place a pad and notice it starts on number two so I'm going to hit tab again. Let's change our properties. Designator is going to be pin one. I can change the size and shape of the hole. I'm making it round. I can make it rectangle. Rectangle holes will get us in trouble. Most manufacturers don't want to do those, but I can change the size and the shapes of these with these properties. And I can place my pen, my pad. Let's see where I'm at. I'm looking here. I'm at, oh, let's say make this 150 by zero. Pin 2 I can put right there, and pin 3 I can make it at minus 150. So there I've placed three pins. I can highlight my top overlay and say place a line. And I can say, yeah, the shape of my device is shaped like this. Maybe I have a strange device. I can make it shaped any way I want. And I can save it. So if I look at my PCB library, it always calls it PCB component. It makes its own name, but I can come back here and right click on this and say show me the footprint properties there's the name and I could call it my test footprint and now it's named test footprint so I just made my own footprint that's the easy way to do this to make a footprint to make a schematic part for some part that you're going to use in your project that you can't find on Altium's libraries uh, so hope I hope this helps if you have questions obviously come and see me